are more concerned about the flock than their own life. And that is why there are a lot of things happening today. People can protect the work at the expense of their soul. Amen. May those words have effect in our lives. I don't know if I should still preach or we'll just close and <laughs> what is that? All right, be seated for a while. We want to appreciate the servants of God here. Clap your hands if you brought it here. Amen. We have Reverend Pia Ikana. He's a father in the land. Yeah. Bless the Lord for him. Clap your hands for him. And also we have the, the state PFN chairman, Bishop Monique Binosa. He's a father in the land. In the state, not the land. God bless you, sir. Amen. I don't know where Bishop Monk gets. Maybe I... I I have to look for a special day to meet him to just lay hands, two hands on my head. Because it's about 70, but the level of energy and youthfulness, it amazes me. It amazes me. This energy, is youthfulness in doing the work of God. And there are some of us who are just in our 50s, you're already bent, twisted, and you don't know you need help. Amen. My wife is here too. Amen. Mama is here with us. She's my pastor. I call her my pastor. All right. Reverend Chidi, when you were ministering, I was scared. I was showing my pastors my notes. You were just preaching. <laughs> I mean, I was afraid. I mean, he said something and I showed it to Reverend John. I said, what is this? That is how you know the connection of the spirit. All right, if you have your Bible, 1 Kings 19. 1 Kings 19, 18. 19, 18. First Kings 19, verse 18. Yes! I have left me 7,000 in Israel which have not bowed unto Baal and every mouth which have not kissed him. I have left 7,000 in Israel who have not bowed to Baal and every mouth who have not kissed him. Anointed but hidden. Anointed but hidden. When you look at ministers of God today, pastors, bishops, apostles with massive following, physical structures, big, hundreds of thousands. You look at ministers, powerful, online presence, and you tend to conclude that you have seen great men. You are joking. There are many more anointed than them, but they are hidden. Elijah said, I alone, I alone, and I'm sure Elijah moved with that consciousness of being the only general. Elijah moved with that consciousness of being the greatest of his day, and God was watching him. And that consciousness of of his day also contributed to his attitude to challenges now if not me what can happen does Elijah let me tell you something I have 7,000 that have not bowed their knees they are pure they are anointed but my problem is that was the only time reference was made to them nothing was said about them they are anointed. They are there. They are kept. But how come nobody heard of them? There are many people who have come to this.
this world there are many ministers of God who have come to planet earth who were called by God who had spent time in God's presence who were anointed with powerful messages who were great in God's sight they were men of purity they were men of prayer they were men who practically saw angels they were men that had dealings of the spirit but they left this world without anybody knowing them anointed but hidden and that is why when 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 messages when you see people who have passed through begin to talk to you you better listen no matter how you are rising up as a young man you better listen when you are being <laughs> in your days like Reverend Chidi called it in your days of popularity your days of popularity can, can even hit you as a youth it can hit you as an elderly man you must be careful when they see you with all the noise most of them I see young people coming up younger generation my heart is bleeding Lord help this one not to make mistakes because the man that is pounding yam and disturbing the neighbors should know that the neighbors also eat pounded yam but nobody hears Elijah was alone. Imagine if these 7,000 men had come out. How can you handle 7,001 prophets? They have been hidden was part of the strength of Jezebel. You didn't understand what I said. The reason today there is reproach in Christianity, there is mockery in the gospel, is that too many generals are still in the barrack. The ministry is a military, and the military of the ministry is manifested in the field. The ministry is military, and the military of the ministry is manifested in the field, not in the barracks. Am I speaking to somebody here? Not in the barracks. There are too many mess up and ridicule in the ministry today we have people in government who are trying to ridicule the ministry because many generals are there but they are few in number how can you handle when there is a when there are three thousand generals in the dosted three thousand generals in kaduna three thousand generals in kano three thousand generals in lagos three thousand generals in abuja three thousand generals in portacol where do you start from how can you confound them that was the fear that Pharaoh had. Pharaoh said these people are increasing in number. I need to send voices to see how they can silence them. So I am here for somebody. I am here on an assignment that you are coming out from here you have been hiding. You are coming out from here you have been hiding. I see God bringing you out. I see God bringing you out. Take your seat. That's why you listen, young men, young women. The angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon in Judges chapter 6, verse 13. And Gideon said, Where are his miracles? Judges 6, 13. Listen to what he said. Where are his miracles that our fathers told us of? He didn't say our parents, our fathers. He didn't say that our parents told us of. He said our fathers. And the angel said, Go in this thy might. What was the might? He was saying to the angel, I may come from a restricted family, but I have relationship with fathers. I, am, I may come from a background that is wasted, but I have been around spiritual fathers. And they have told us about the workings of God. And I'm in my incubation process. Where are the things our fathers told us of? And the angel said, go in this domain. What was the might? His connection to fathers. His revelation from fathers. What he has heard from fathers. That was the might that the angel said he should go in. The connection he has. The revelation, the impartation that he has received. Am I talking to somebody here? Anointed. 
7,000. Yet one prophet was running for his dear life. History and destiny will never forgive the generation of Israelites who were available and yet God came out of the ark to fight for himself. History will never forgive the Phineas and Ophni generation that they were on ground. The ark of God was taken and brought to, come to you know, face to face in the palace of Dagon. The palace. One of the biggest thing a pastor should never have. A man of God's servant mentioned it just now. Is familiarity with God. Never. I'm seeing pastors. Hot prayers. They are pressing their phone. Hot prayers going on. People are. There are pastors. When last did you cry in the place of prayer? The great man said, Reviver is when. Brother, hot knees meet sister wet eyes. When last you are not broken, nothing moves you. Prayers have been made and you are communicating. Once I sense that, I tell myself this person won't go for a life. Familiarity with God. Many of us have become so familiar. Am I communicating here? God can have Applaud your work, but he must judge your life. God can applaud your work, but he must judge your life. Your work is good. It's, you know, when I saw God praising them in Revelation chapter 2, he was saying, I know your strength. I know you have done well. I know this. He said, but I have something against you. I said, ah, ah. Have you discovered that God never amplifies what he told you to do that you did he only judges what he told you not to do that you did adam named the garden adam observed the excellency of creation adam did a lot of things how come it was just that fruit god amplified samson killed a lot of philistine samson fulfilled the assignment it was not amplified I've told you several times that if I, if I was allowed to write the Bible, I would have edited some things. <laughs> when Abraham took his agar, I won't put that. It doesn't sound nice. When, when, when Samson met Delilah, I won't put that. No. When David, David, When David was sick in his days, they don't give him drugs. They just call a lady. When I mean, he was so sick, the Bible says they called a young damsel. And the king could not move. They agreed, now we know the king is sick. I would have edited all of those facts. But God will leave the reflexes of humanity so that you understand how to escape it when he confronts you. God say, I'm honest. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. If it were not so, he expects so much. When he saw the fig tree afar, when he saw the fig tree afar up, the Bible says he came expecting to find leaves, to find fruit, and he found nothing on the fig tree. The Bible says he said, From today, no man eat ends forth from you. No man eat ends forth from you. If you are fruitless to God, you'll be useless to man. If you are fruitless to God, you'll be useless. That fig tree had no fruits. And Jesus said, from today, no man, since you are not fruitful to me, you'll be useless. You are not fruitful to me, you can't be useful to man. So you must understand that when you are useful to God, then you will be useful to man. Anointed, but hidden. The Lord told me one day I was praying, he said, son, there are so many powerful preachers who are still in obscurity. 
there are so many powerful preachers and no these are men that have witnessed five six seven eight nine ten dead people within the space of months come back to life but their chairs and pew is still empty they have seen manifestations in their personal evangelism market evangelism house to house evangelism, they have seen power but they are still in obscurity but my bible says in matthew 10 verse 26 there is nothing hidden that will not be revealed in mark 4 22 nothing hidden that will not be manifested any power or anything that has hidden you today by the force of grace i see you coming out take your seat number one thing i want to just rush this and then we'll just move in this spirit to go and pray it says seven thousand they were together if you must come out from being hidden despite being anointed you must break off from the click mentality click click seven thousand click ministry has become almost become politics that you must belong to a certain click there are certain people who only relate to themselves anybody around that no it has become a click it has become factionary listen to me i ask myself we are we are the seven thousand when elijah was running for his life you watch a wounded soldier die we are where is seven thousand what kind of anointing without humanity what kind of manifestation without affection watching a wounded soldier die seven thousand of you were there and yet jezebel threatened elijah listen to me when a general is under threat it is not he that should speak it's other generals that should speak. when a general is under threat he should be advised to keep quiet let others fire from 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 all cylinders but today generals are dying and when they're trying to scream other generals are shouting them down a general was going through a crisis and the challenge one time and i had somebody here say hey, we understand we understand we, i was trying to play nice to the public Playing, trying to play nice to the media. And I called him. I said, what was that nonsense you just said? Our own is our own. Our own is our own. You don't do that. Remove that thing you put there. You don't speak because you want to say something. You speak because you have something to say. Click. There are places today and denominations minister that can plan how to poison a leader it starts with function there was a great man of god in lagos who i love was a prayer man it was his leadership that organized his assassination as he came from the airport some of the, the protocol who came to receive him some of the boys have infiltrated the protocol the wife was at home waiting for him and they opened fire They opened fire. Great man. I wept. Infiltrated this protocol. Are you saying others were not aware? When protocols now see strange faces among them. The, the latest bishop said, committee can make you commit crime. We have so many people. There are many widows in today. Women that are widows. Pastor, general of Asias wife that are widows. It was in God who wished the husband to expire early. It was click, 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 that wasted. You will not end like that. Anyone that is planting clicks around you, my God shall dismantle them. That roadblock shall scatter. That roadblock shall break. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today.
today is the same forever when God says yes no man can say no when God lifts you up no man can bring you down God is on your side power is on your side glory is on your side lift your one shot fire lift your right and say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the power of clicks in my assignment the power of clicks the power of clicks in any department in any department in my commission in my commission the power of clicks the power of clicks around my location around my location the power of clicks the power of clicks watching my home watching my home fighting my marriage fighting my marriage walking and you stumble on two pastors when they see you coming they keep quiet don't ask them what are they saying just tell them it shall be revealed <laughs> you walk to pastors and you see what they say you see, they were saying something about you and you just walked in there and they kept quiet don't ask them what are you discussing just tell them it shall be revealed So long your hands are clean. So long you have no other God in secret. So long, listen, you may not be perfect, but be sincere. God does not choose the qualified, the qualifies the chosen. Be sincere. We are all striving. Perfection is an expectation, but none is there yet. It's an expectation. Genesis 17, verse 1. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Matthew 5, 48. Be ye perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. Luke 6, 40. No, the disciple is not greater than his master. Anyone that must be perfect must be as his master. Second Corinthians 7, verse 1. Having these precious promises. Let us lay aside every filthiness of the flesh and spirit perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Matthew, um, Psalm 37, 37. Mark the perfect man. Behold the upright the end of that man shall be peace. We are all struggling into perfection. If there was no spot in your life, you will not be here. The day you get to the zenith of perfection, God will call you home. Enoch got to that point. God just took him. He attained a, a path where there was no spot on. God took him. Say no, you don't. People like this, so long you still live with mortal men, is because there is something in your life God is still working on. I wish you are following me today. Click everywhere. Click. You made somebody youth president. He has faction. You put somebody in charge of choir. He has his faction. You put a woman. You put her as the women leader. She already has a faction. And all her faction is to see how the pastor's wife is a target. Somebody's reporting your wife to you as a pastor. You are not ashamed. You are listening. You are listening. A rebellious person is reporting your wife. That Nigeria is dirty doesn't mean a pig should tell us how to clean it up. Am I talking to somebody here? Don't stay with the clique. The Lord told me something years ago. He said, don't, don't belong where you don't belong. Don't belong where you don't belong. Sure, those seven thousand. 
Hey. Hey. Can I say this to you? A great man of God, his messages blessed you. His ministration inspired you. The hand of God on him challenged you. His crisis should concern you. Can I repeat that again? His messages, a man of God, his messages blessed you. His ministration inspired you. The hand of God upon his life challenged you. His crisis should concern you. You don't delete or stop following a man because he fell. Who has affected your life? Who drew you close to God? Except you are saying your salvation is in contention. Those 7,000 people saw Elijah in pain. He was inspiring them. But there are people that can't come out openly to say somebody bless them. Pride will not allow them. Arrogance. Pride. They stay in their rooms and they are watching ministers of God and come out and criticize them. They stay in their closet, observe the ministers and come out and criticize them. If his life has blessed you, if his ministry has inspired you, his crisis should concern you. His challenge to break you, to make you weep. Look at what David said. He said, shh, shh, shh. Let it not be mentioned in God. Not the valley of Ashkelon. Let not the daughters of the Philistines hear it. That how are the mighty fallen and the weapons of war. Please leave that click. That when they sit down, all they discuss are other men of God. Leave them. You can't hang around Saul and expect to reign with David. You can't hang around Saul. Jonathan and David had a covenant. You will be my deputy. But Jonathan refused to call a spade a spade. Your father is against your future. Your future is in David. Your future is not in your father. God has left him. He wanted to play politics. He joined his father's entourage and died in his father's accident. I many of you, there are so much, if your eyes get open to know the people spearheading rebellion in your commission, you will break down. If your eye gets open to know the people spearheading rebellion. If your eyes get, listen, while we are still here, wherever you come from, things will be exposed. As you get back, you will sit on your own. Confession, 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 confessions, confession, confession. The Lord God shall expose. Nothing shall be hidden. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. Am I talking to somebody? Our wounded soldiers don't die at the stones thrown at them. They die from the way we advertise their injury. They don't die at the stones which we throw, which we are thrown at them from the world. They die when their brothers advertise their wounds. Our wounded soldiers. Anointed. If you want the Lord to show you fault, you don't want to be hidden anymore. You want to be what Jesus was talking in the Beatitude in Matthew 5 14 that a city set upon a hill. Number one, you must break click method. Number two, you must take steps. You must take what? Steps. 
These 7,000 men we are indoors praying, preparing, doing everything, fasting, fasting, praying without execution. I have seen pastors who will fast, 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 pray, 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 and pray, and pray, and pray, and pray, and, pray, and yet cannot organize a healing service. All this unction you are incubating, when will you manifest it? 7,000 does not bow their knees to Baha, nor kiss his image, yet never manifested. So what was the purpose of the fasting? What was the purpose of spending time with God if no life will be touched? Take steps! There are some of you that will not know the unction resident in you until you hold a crusade. You thought you were just a teacher because there was nothing to confront the healing anointing. Until you were called to a crusade, people were say, wait, do I carry the Take steps. demons are subject to you once your deliverance service was heard incubating listen to me impartation is impartation revelation is revelation insight is insight only action activates all revelation is revelation impartation is impartation insight is insight only action activates all no matter the impartation as soon as the anointing fell on Elisha, the mantle was in his hand when he got to the sea he said let me try this thing where is if you watch it, that was the only time he called on the God of Elijah after it worked for him, he now knew that that God is now his God <laughs> It's what it produced. He now knew that that God is that the thing is working. So he said, Elijah, thank you. Now let me walk in your steps. Double portion came on him, and little children messed him up. And when I read that scripture, I was angry. How will a man of God waste little children? And the Lord said to me, They were not children, they were adults behaving like children. 42 children can be gathered. How can for children gather together and be following one man? They were adults who were behaving like children. And, and I studied my Bible. All the unction. That I saw, don't just come to this conference. Don't just finish in this conference. And you get back and do ministry regularly. Have a power meeting. Have a power night. Have a solution night. That thing that has come on you. You need to take steps. 7,000 men. Yet they never confronted Baal. They never confronted Jezebel. They never confronted Heab. They never spoke into famine. There was famine in the land. They never spoke. There was nothing manifestational about their incubation process. How can you? I had some brethren. I have some brethren. I, when I used to go to the mountain to pray, I would meet some people on the mountain. Two months, three months, four months. They would come back, do service for three weeks, go back to the mountain. They've been doing that for years. When will you manifest? All the deposit, all the deposit. When a man keeps eating without using the lavatory, it is tantamount to disease. Some of you are so loaded, so loaded, so much insight, but you have never made up your mind to pour that thing out. After this meeting, go back and take steps. I said, go back and manifest for the NS expectation. The endless desire, the utmost desire of the creator waited, waited for the manifestation of the sons. Incubation without manifestation is frustration. Every process, every prophecy must be activated. The first deaf and dumb I pray for never heard. I've told you the story. The person didn't hear. The person did because I saw some people healed of stomach, back pain, and all of that. So I didn't know what it means to grow in, in, in a particular unction. I felt stomach pain, everything. Healing is healing. I said, bring the blind, bring the deaf. And you know those kind of deaf people where, that are brought by family? 
you have like seven people who brought their deaf sister. And we prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. People were healed. Leg pain, waist pain, this pain. The deaf was not healed. So it was a meeting of about 80 to 100 people. So you will know those who shall say they are sick are not healed. They came to me and said, the deaf is not healed. I said, yeah, bring the deaf. I put hand, I shouted. I shouted, nothing happened. I commanded, nothing happened. And I said they should bring the person to the pastor's office that I'm sure God wants to do privately. The seven family members followed their sister. I said they should wait outside. The only thing I didn't do on that year was money devotion. It was, I, it was only money devotion I didn't do. I asked for mercy. I asked for grace. I asked, nothing I didn't say, oh Lord, have mercy. Any sin I've committed, knowingly or unknowingly, mercy. Heal! Was still deaf. After I continued, I now asked, can you? Be, be. <laughs> father, father, father. I said, wait, I opened any scriptures. I read it. I put it in hand. Baby. I put man the scriptures. I in the ear. I prayed, 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 prayed. I said, Do you have anointing oil? It got to a point. The pastor walked, walked out. You know, just he was tired. He walked out. He gave me oil. I put oil in the ear. I said, no, eh, eh. I put on the tongue. I put every I said, after prayer. When she left. The family insulted. Now you just wasted that time. You don't even have power. Sir, I cried. I cried. I wept. And the Lord asked me a question. Sincerely in your heart, why did you want to pray for that girl to hear? And I examined my heart. A corner of me wanted to prove that I am anointed. And God said, that is why. I will not share my glory with you. If you have seen me pray for people in the wheelchair and the rest, when I pray, I walk away. I just pray, walk away. The next day I'm here, oh, he can walk, he can see. I don't kill myself. Did I put you there? Did I make you cripple? Why would I kill myself? We prayed for somebody, we are in a meeting, 10 people, I think blind or something. Eight were healed, the other two were not healed. Somebody says, sir, there are two that are still blind. And I ask him, did you go to school? He said, yes. I say, eight over 10, this is not a pass mark. <laughs> it's A, is that not A? I read one of Reverend Kingsley's book. And as I was I got to a point and I started laughing. I was praying for somebody, the person kept coming. He says, It has not happened though. It has not happened. It has not happened. It has not happened. And he said, There's nothing I can do. <laughs> and he said, Don't let people turn you to a native doctor. There's nothing. I... You know, there are some of you that there are some of you that think you are smart. Somebody met Jesus in Matthew 12. Somebody met Jesus and said, Master, tell my brother to share his inheritance with me. No, Jesus said, Who made me a judge over your family? There are some family matters you have entered in ministry that you are not supposed to enter. How can I enter your family where you are 11? Only you are a member of my church. Others are not believers. I should enter that family. You are the one that concerns me. Finish the family meeting. Tell me the outcome. I'll be praying. I will now gather everybody. You say, invite my family. For what, what will I invite your family? This is how pastors die before their time. Because where God has not sent you, His grace does not cover you. Someone was in church. Bishop, sir, somebody was in church. He called, dragged the same to the office. He said, sir, I know you are a man of God with sincerity. I want to borrow this person money. I want you to be a witness. I said, have you bought normal? God coming to preach the gospel, not to become a, a witness. Is this church a bank? Borrow at your own risk. You collect at your own risk. Two of you out. You put your, you have, you have entered so many battles, you are standing short for people. Helping people to buy land. Because you have one international connection, you have become a visa agent. Look at where you landed, police station. 
and God Almighty empowered the GPO to keep you in the cell. Since he said, wait for me for three days, you say, no, go and do it inside the cell. And you met fellow prisoners who were your prayer warriors. Am I communicating here? Certain battles you, don't, you, not, you not inherit. You don't need them. That you'll be going, you'll be going older, be looking younger. Why? Because you are not carrying unnecessary battles. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah? I was praying, waiting on the Lord. And someone told me, say, there's an issue, there's an issue. Hitting the door. Hitting the door. After a while, I opened it. I said, what is the matter? He said, there's an issue, somebody is dying. And I asked him, that he die or I die? Which one do you prefer? I'm seeking the one that can give me life. Do not lose your spiritual life on the altar of ministry. Number three, and then we'll just pray. We'll just pray. Tell somebody, take steps. Take steps. You know, in Deuteronomy 2 24, God said, How long have you been on this mountain? He said, Take a rise up, take your journey. I've given you Sihon, the Amorite, the king of Hezbo, and his land. Begin to possess it. Contend with him in battle. Second Kings 7 1, the fallen prophet may say, Why see three years till we die? The prophecy is on the atmosphere. Let's take steps. Number three, Kolata Balatash, Inkoposobrash. Anointed. If you want to come out from obscurity, number three, deal with Jezebel. Deal. Jezebel is after the anointed. Jezebel might not only be the female, feminine gender. Anything that wants the head of a man of God is Jezebel. Jezebel. Anything that wants the head, the glory, the crown, the dignity of a servant of God is Jezebel. Deal with Jezebel. Sir, there's a special anointing that brings a man out of obscurity. Do you know as I was studying my Bible, I discovered that one of the men that were in obscurity was Jehu. Jehu was one of the 7,000 men that have not bowed their knees to bow. He took the anointing of God on Elijah to bring out Jehu. When Jehu said to the Lord, when Elijah said to God, Jezebel wants to kill me. God said to him, take the oil, anoint Elisha, <laughs> anoint Aziel, anoint Jehu. And it was Jehu that killed Jezebel. God was saying to Elijah, the unction on you is too heavy to be downloaded on one person. It needs three carriers. And it was one of them that killed Jezebel. So God was trying to say to Elijah, Jezebel you are running from, you are bigger than her three times. Jehu had a prophecy. Anoint Jehu. When Azuel became king, Jehu had not gone into leadership. Elisha became prophet. Jehu had not gone to leadership. God said Jehu was to take over from Ahab. Ahab had a son that became king for two years, for 12 years. Another became king for two years. Jehu's prophecy was hanging for 14 years. He was frustrated and he joined the military. He became a soldier. One day, Elisha remembered. He said, When the word was given, it was for me, it was for Azir, it was for Jehu. He carried the flower of oil and he told somebody, You will get to the midst of the military, you will call out somebody, ask him, are you Jehu? When he says he's the one, anoint him as you anoint him. Run! Because his prophecy is 14 years old. It will start manifesting under pressure. Look at you, look at you. I am speaking to your life. I see the anointing of God upon you manifesting under pressure. Manifesting under pressure. Manifesting under pressure. After now, you will run with speed. Jezebel must go down. Jezebel must go down. Jezebel must go down. Sir, do you know? Do you know? You remember Obadiah in 1 Kings 18? Obadiah that came and said, Elijah said to him, Go and tell Hey, Elijah is here. Obadiah said, You want to kill me? 
Have you not heard how I hid 150 prophets in the cave? One of those prophets hid in the cave was a man called Obedidom. Obed-Edom. I'm sure it was from Aqua Ibom. Obed-Edom. Obed-Edom was in the cave. Obed-Edom was a prophet of God. As he was hidden in the cave, hunger met him there. Obadiah left them after a while. He relocated and went to the Philistine land and began to stay not in the Philistine nation because he could not identify with the Philistine, but yet he didn't want to die hungry. So he began to stay on the exit of the Philistinian city. So he was living there. David collected the ark from the land of the Philistine. As he was going, Uzzah tried to touch the ark. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah? And Uzzah was killed by God. And it happened right in the front of Obedidom's house. I told you when I get to heaven, I want to ask David, what was in your mind? Ark just killed somebody. What was in your mind? What did you have as a motive for putting the ark in that man's house? To, to, to escape death for himself and the man be wasted. But the Bible says, God, who knows our labor? Who knows all Obedidom went through for God? Who knows all the poverty and the shame? The Bible says, and the ark of God entered his house. Listen, the ark is entering your assignment. The ark is entering your church. The ark is entering your commission. The ark is entering your ministry. I see God branching your house. I see God branching your home. They call him omnipotent. They call him omniscient. They call him omnipresent. I call him omnibrancher. He will branch your family. He will branch your work. He will branch your home. He will branch your health. He will branch your finances. Be up on your feet. Be up on your feet. But he did. Jezebel, you have done too much. Jezebel sent 150 prophets to bring down a man of God. So, the spirit of Jezebel is that power that, that is out to bring you down. It can be committee, it can be fellow ministers who Jezebel has entered. Political spirit. The Bible said there was no king as wicked as Ahab who Jezebel, his wife, stared up. Stand up. Many of you are hidden. Do you know part of the reason why those 7,000 could not come out? The fear of Jezebel. When I began to confront certain wrong things in leadership, a great man called me. He said, you think we don't see? We are quiet. These people will blackmail you. So I discover not that they can't speak the fear of the reaction the fear of the outcome there are many who cannot go to certain places for program because they have had people went there and died they can't do certain things because they had people did it and this happened when they heard what Jezebel did to Elijah what he did to Naboth What he now did to Elijah sent people to cut off his head. Even after physical fire came down, Jezebel heard they were roasted. He said, I'm not stopping. Tell Elijah by this time, if his head is on his neck tomorrow, I'm not Jezebel. When the spirit of Jezebel enter people, no matter your manifestation, it doesn't move them. They know their pastor is anointed. Their pastor prophesied, and they will mock you with it. If you can see, why didn't you see it? The problem about the prophetic is when your heart accepts people too much, you may not see anything about them. When you so much trust people, you may not see anything. So the best way to see people is to desentimentalize yourself. Take your mind off and say, Lord, who is this person? Some of you will be shocked. Jezebel, we're going to pray. We're going to pray. First of all, we're going to shatter click. Click. Factions. I said this yesterday and I'll repeat it. 
every church has a department called gossip department every church there is usher there is choir there is protocol this gossip department is formed by certain people not approved by the church and they are always discussing either pastor or a member eh? before service they meet during service they are chatting the same message can you imagine that thing is you that thing he said is talking to you it's you it's you a woman met me after service one time and said it was when the husband came from you know came to the church late that she actually now believed that the man had not come to see me to report her i said why he says like you were preaching me i said ah, is your name in the bible i said you are too small you are you are too immaterial i want to talk to thousands of people i will not carry you as a topic who born you no who born you no matter how much you think you have now if everything is good for the hawk it will come so low to pick a cock if everything is good for the hawk up there it will come so low to pick a cock <laughs> and, and, and i see people you know, oh, how much do you have that like you said it's you they are preaching have you not simple like that in your church so because that is why that is part of the reason in this church i hardly do counseling before you say you told me that's what i'm preaching you didn't talk to me now he said eh, eh, he's using me to preach. who are you midst of thousands of people small you i told them i said in this church if i want to talk about you i call your name i will mention you 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 know what you did i will mention if i didn't mention it it's not you You didn't call me, you don't pay me, you can't sack me. I'm going to pray. Click. Sir, so there was a pastor around. He was poisoned. They poisoned him. He was in the hospital. Our ministry was very young then. So he called me and said, Come and preach. I'm poisoned. I'm in the hospital. I went to the hospital. I was angry. I was angry seeing nurses come to tell a man of God sorry. I was angry coming to see nurses come to tell a man of God. Don't worry. If you are really, if not God really called you, he will, he will bring you out of this thing now. Hearing all those things, I was spoiling. I told them they should just be doing prayer. And drove down to that place in anger. I brought two bottles of anointing oil. After I preached for like 10 minutes, I said, the Holy Spirit told me that those that are present, the pastor are here. I counted their numbers. I said, all of you come out or you will die. Particular number, some came out. There were about three or four in the congregation who didn't come out. So I anointed the doors. That anybody who crosses the door will run mad. After the service, about three or four... <laughs> shut up, Patrick. Shut up. Shut up. He knows what I'm talking about. About three or four sat down. Service has ended. They sat down in church. So the, the ushers now said, the ushers now said they want to lock the door. They said, lock, lock. We want to pray. Ushers say, pray. Service has ended. You want to pray? Go outside now. They say, no. Clean the oil. Clean the oil. He said, clean. Oh, oh. Now, now. In the church. If your eyes are open, we are preaching a town in Okbilla, Reverend Kingsley, and I don't know if Reverend John was with me. <laughs> I was angry. I said, If you are a witch, get out, go home. Church was empty. I started begging them to come back. I said, No, I don't mean that you are having witchcraft attack. I mean, you eat flesh, you drink blood. They say, Hey, now. I said, 
come god will deliver you come a dickness the child was crying was going out oh she said dickness where did they go he said you know your announcement so i said no i don't mean they are feeding you i mean you go to the meeting place you kill people you eat flesh you drink blood the interpreter interpreted it he said eh? he said we should go now so we are going i told the man that invited me i said you are in trouble just imagine the witches in the committee say in the name of jesus every power of cliques the power of cliques. The power of factions around god's hand on my life conspiracies in the name of jesus be frustrated be frustrated open your mouth and talk to jesus the lord told me this morning when i was praying that this second prayer we're going to spend time it's not just for us yeah we are using the ministers here many of our pastors could not come many many because of the curfew and all the whatever so we that are here we are representing them and we are representing the body of christ all over the world the spirit of jezebel that is hunting for pastors will command them to die angel of god spill their blood that is what the lord did it was dogs that licked up the blood of jezebel spirit of jezebel after ministers of god angel of god spill their blood how many ministers have been wasted set them up waste them conspire against them i told you about a young man who they found somebody around they found charm kept on his altar i told by a young pastor a geo was crying complaining the daughter was kidnapped came with the assistant pastor while we are praying the lord told me ask the assistant pastor the resident the resident the overseer the resident pastor he organized the kidnap when your attacker becomes your prayer partner All over the world we are not praying for just ourselves all over the world we're praying for pastors all over the world do you know there are many pastors who are, who are crying because jezebel has taken over their husbands for a pastor to carry his load and pack to go and live with a lady he doesn't care it's because of my wife's character should they should a bad character push you to hell there are pastors wife whose heart is heavy so somebody's bad character now make you now develop your own character i don't understand it's like somebody said the wife sin so he has to sin to pay the, the sin <laughs> yes to revenge on the sin the wife committed say my husband sinned so me too i want to sin so i can tell my husband that he's not the only one who knows how to sin that i'm a bigger sinner just that i stopped sinning because i didn't want to sin the capacity to sin is still there You come home, you shower in the morning, you are back to Jezebel's house. Any morning you come back home, you are back to Jezebel's house. And the person who has right to end your life is there believing God. 
Jezebel has money. That's why she could control 850 prophets. Your wife can't give you money, but Jezebel is giving your church money. Your wife can't buy you suits, but Jezebel is buying you suits. Your wife cannot buy you a car, but Jezebel is asking you, name any car you want. So your wife has become rubbish. When fire fell on those 450 prophets, Jezebel could not help them. Bible said they ate at Jezebel, not Ahab. The right word should have been they ate at Ahab's table. Bible said no, they ate at Jezebel's table. Those of you who are in cities, Lagos, Port Harcourt, Abuja, you are in cities where there are single ladies who have money to throw around. They have colonized you. Your life has become the warehouse where they collect palliatives. <laughs> Jezebel, when they come for you, they know your price. If they know what you love, are you ready to pray? There are some of us pastors here. Some pastor's wife, if we allow them to talk, we say, come and talk. You will know that she needs help. Don't talk. We will talk to God for you. We will cry to God. Anyone that has more attention than your family is a Jezebel. You are not following me. Listen, whatever I'm going to say now, if you like, interpret it to suit you. But this particular thing is a personal decision. If you don't like my wife, I don't like you. It's a personal... You, you, you can choose to have a different opinion, but this is my opinion. If you don't like my wife, I don't like you. father and the lord that the geo a humble man a man that believes in the coming of christ a man that is so conscious of heaven if you are talking with him he's talking telling you to be prepared for heaven when i'm talking about violence and judgment at times if he's i'm going too hard say johnson if you kill everybody who will be left <laughs> you want to kill everybody everybody died that but he said something he said insult me i will leave you Abuse me, I will leave you. It's not my wife, I will kill you. I said, no, no. It's not that the Jew that said that now. I said, I'm not sure I heard where. Am I communicating? And your wife is in a vision given to you by God, but she's so lonely, like a stranger in a mandate, she should be a partner. Because you discuss with outsiders before she hears. In fact, it is from outsiders your wife hear your plan. You know the shame. Are you not ashamed? It is outsiders that will come and tell, uh, Mommy, we're having a two day revival. And they say, I'm not. My wife knows this church than me because she's patient. And I am patient. <laughs> eh? I'm patient now. Now I'm patient. I, wa I wasn't like this before. It is. I'm trying. Do you want to, go, be, to be transferred to the village? <laughs> I'm patient now. Before I was, I was, I mean, if I send you to Benin now, in 20 minutes I'll be asking you, are you back? My pastors were under pressure. Their BP was high. No, these are the ones that the Fidelis, Reverend Joy, Ben K, they are the ones that suffered. 
As they need them to place the posters. As they are leaving, I'm coming there. Are you done? It's come back, come back. Sir, we, are not, we have not reached there. Why? No, that is why. Check my messages since we started OFM till about 2014. You will not see any message on patience. I don't have it now. So why would I preach what I'm not doing? So there was no... <laughs> you won't see any message with a reference to patience. It's not as if the inspiration doesn't come. <laughs> it comes, but I don't want to deceive myself. It's many pastors' wives. I'm speaking for you now. I'm speaking for many pastors' wives who cannot speak. Repent. No, 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 no. Not, not God. Your wife, your wife. Repent before her. If you're a minister, you cannot kneel down to tell your wife you are sorry. Forget kneeling down before God. But you are dead. No. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. How can I end up for my wife? Look at the choir girl that is messing your life. That's more choir girl. Look at the choir. Look at a man. Man. See the choir girl that is messing your life. See the protocol that is messing man. A whole man. See the protocol. In the teenage department with all your 40 days fasting the collector is a teenager should I, can i close now we're going to pray for pastors all over the world now listen to me before you get critical of some of these pastors 90% of most of these pastors is manipulation. Manipulation. Let me tell you to know the strength of manipulation. You are correcting somebody for an obvious wrong and he's arguing. It's manipulation. It's not them. These are people who love God. But manipulation. Are you ready? For five, ten minutes, we are going to pray for preachers all over the world, ministries all over the world who are under the spell of Jezebel. Say in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for ministers. We pray for ministers all, all over the world. Under the spell of Jezebel. Under under the spell of Jezebel. Of Jezebel. We speak to Jezebel. We speak to Jezebel. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord arise. Oh Lord arise. Spin our blood. Spin our blood. Terminate our assignment. Open your mouth. Lose that pastor. 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 Lose that pastor.
Ale Still in the mood of prayer, we're going to call God's servant Bishop Mon to come and pray for us. Anyone that is under the spell, that Jezebelic spell, you don't know how to break out of it. You don't know how to break out. You don't know how. You also pray that since we are anointed, whatever is hiding anyone, the Lord will bring us to limelight. We will leave obscurity. Lift your hands. A father we bow to you to thank you we thank you for your power we thank you for your might we thank you for the wisdom you have ministered to us today the father in our life there is no spirit of Jezebel that can have a rule over our life over our home over our destiny over our ministry Heavenly Father, we come to you wherever we have missed it. Like it was said to us of the 700, I mean 7,000 prophets who healed themselves, who were afraid of the Jezebel. Today, Father, in any way we have been afraid of life. We have been afraid of man. We have been afraid of woman. Today, Father, by the hearing of the word of God, we stand to say, no more afraid. Lord, every fear, we command it to be diminished in our life. Let fear go. Let fear die. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, we pray today, like it was said of old, that God leaked the blood of Jezebel. Let it be in our life and ministry. Every spirit of Jezebel, let the dog lick their blood. Let the dog lick their blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we bind the spirit. Heavenly Father, we refuse to yield to the spirit. We refuse to yield to them in the choir. We refuse to yield to them in any way. In our congregation, in the mighty name of Jesus Lord I lose every man and every woman here from the hand from the spirit from the power of Jezebel in the name of Jesus every accusation that has weighed us down every spirit of accusation that has made us to become very ineffective today we lose ourselves from them in the name of Jesus we declare that there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus because of the spirit of life in Christ that has made us free from the spirit of death today we receive life we receive grace to fulfill destiny to fulfill the purpose of God in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we will be through with this meeting tomorrow morning tomorrow night we'll go back to our various town a various city a various villages we know you are going with us you will go with us you will help us that each one of us we will have a testimony of the presence of God in our life and ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Heavenly Father no more shame no more disgrace in our life no more disgrace in our ministry no more disappointment in our ministry we will no longer be stranded in life in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Lord we want to thank you that the needs of this men and women are met by you they are not met by men we're not depending on men we're not looking up to men we're looking up to you 
whatever would draw us to men and now believe men and run away from our home father we disconnect ourselves from them in the mighty name of Jesus we believe that our needs are met we believe that our needs are met we declare that our needs are met we declare the needs of the ministry is met in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thank you Abba Father for your goodness that we'll experience in our life for the goodness we experience in our home for the goodness we experience in our marriage in the mighty name of Jesus thank you father that even our children from this day forward who don't believe in our ministry who don't believe in our integrity you are turning things around in our home you are turning things around in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we give you praise today we give you honor today we give you worship today we give you adoration today the father your will is done in our life and we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor thank you for answers to prayer for testimony that will abound to this meeting that we all have come today father we will have testimony not just because of the word but for in the impact that the word of God had made in our life thank you Abba father in Jesus wonderful name we pray amen Amen. We receive it. We call it done. If you have your prophetic seed, can you bring it? If you have a prophetic seed or a tight, you want to do that now. There are many who are waiting. They want to see Papa one on one. I consider that self deception. If you can do it now, you do it. You don't have to. Jehovah Shama, I see you everywhere. Precious within man, your glory fill this earth. Everlasting Father, the one who rescued me, I put my confidence in Jehovah. on you, you go. Jehovah Shama, I see. I'm not taking an offering. I'm taking seed you prepared to bring over. So let's be, let's be clear on that. Because I've seen some of you putting your hand in your pocket and just running out because you want me to touch you. Don't do that. That's wrong. That's wrong. That is wrong. That is wrong. Obey instruction. That is wrong. That is wrong. That is wrong. That is wrong. Oto sere masere giova. Oto sere masere onye mwe. Imama ya, imama ya, imama ya, diye bube. Imama ya, imama ya, imama ya, diye bube. Oto sere masere giova. Oto sere masere onye mwe. 
certain people who are almost destroying our church. tomorrow morning after the morning session only SOP I want to pray for them and um, I do not play I do not play with sons of the prophet everyone's son who is doing his birthday has received a call from me true of us I call them on their birthday so long I get a text that it's your birthday I will call you and I will bless you Omega pastors the same thing I call them and I bless them. If I cannot come to the birthday, I should be able to call. So, it's important that I see you and pray with you. This is almost the end of the year. I pray with you. It's important. OFM pastors, after the service tomorrow, I can see. If you want to stay for the fire night, it's up to you. If you want to go after the morning service, it's up to you. It's not compulsory. If you want to stay, fine. If you don't want to stay, you can go. Amen. But I know that this meeting will be the end of shame mockery obscurity do we love Reverend GD do we love Reverend GD do we want him again amen the Lord will bless him and keep him in Jesus name get an offering and let's just put a seal on that which you have received it is well 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 Father, thank you for this. May it speak for us in Jesus' name. Choir.
You are good in your mercies forever. Hallelujah. You are kind in your mercies forever.
Father, we thank you. We bless you. May we encounter you on this mountain. We will no more be hidden. You will help our lives. That the words we have received this morning will put on flesh. In Jesus, name. my head is a good hair. My life is a good one. Angels shall fight for me. Greatness is on my side. Goodness shall follow me. 